Welcome back to the channel. So recently you may have noticed that Colombian stocks have dropped around 80% since their all time highs. And one particular company which we will focus on in this video is actually trading at its current COVID lows in a sector that I'm extremely bullish on. So who gets the pleasure of being responsible for the absolute destruction that we're seeing in the Colombian stock market and their peso? Well, that's down to this gentleman right here, Gustavo Petro, who is considered the first left-wing president ever of Colombia. A uh, surprising fact about this guy is that actually he used to be in the militia or the guerrilla groups, which has caused extreme fear in investors as they see Colombia under Petro's rule as maybe becoming the next Venezuela or Argentina. And this isn't helped further by some of the reforms Petro suggests. So Mr. Gustavo has suggested and plans to initiate the following. He wants to place capital controls so it's less easy for money to leave the country. He plans on increasing taxes on the, on the higher class. And of course on oil companies and reviewing the mining laws and the taxes around that. Um, we know how well that's worked in the Western countries with the complete and utter clusterfuck that is the energy policies. And yeah, he's blocked basically all new issuances of oil, gas and mining permits in the country. And he's also urged Colombians to keep their money in Colombia. So as soon as the government starts to tell you to not take your money, it's probably the best time to take your money. And let's throw in, of course, the casual conspiracy theories of, which probably are correct, you know, but on a political stage, they don't help that much. But given the situation, we have to be slightly grateful for Mr. Gustavo because he's absolutely destroyed the Colombian stock market and in one particular company, which is an absolute cash cow in a sector that is just gonna print money in the coming years and that company is specifically eco petrol and full disclosure i have a position in this company and today we're, we're going to look at why i have a position in this company so the stock got destroyed in the recent weeks since uh, petrol came into power but what's really surprising here is that when brent uh, traded at 60 dollars per barrel this stock was trading in the high teens and if you'll notice right now, this share price or this stock price is actually trading at the same level that is trading during the pandemic lows. So this stock price is basically pricing in negative oil for this company, which sounds pretty crazy if you think about the trajectory of oil and given what it was doing just a few months ago. It's also crazy to think that the company now is generating more every quarter than it was making annually in 2020-10. Let's just repeat that again. The company is making as much now every quarter as it was in 2020-10. And on top of this, it's paying a 20% plus dividend yield. This is extremely important to, to consider that the Republic of Colombia is a controlling shareholder of this company. So they will be highly incentivized to keep the dividend flowing as it goes straight to the government itself. So the company is also very diverse in that it actually holds a lot of assets outside of Colombia, which, as we mentioned, that one of the laws that he wants to pass is no new drilling or fracking within Colombia. But Ecopetrol holds a lot of assets in the Gulf of Mexico, and also it has refining capacity, so it can do around 400,000 barrels a day, and that's of diesel as well, which is extremely scarce at the moment. So it's a major player in the Colombian market. This investment is definitely not for the one or for the faint hearted, let's say. It's extremely risky. They could just wake up one day and nationalize everything and poof, there goes all of your capital right down to zero. Now, I've linked a few articles below, which I got most of my information for this video. They explain everything much better than I do, but I wanted to, you know, make this video and like kind of just go over it myself. 
which I enjoyed. But definitely check out those articles and yeah, not investment advice, highly, highly risky this stock. But I think given the destruction of the share price for one and also the huge dividends yield it's giving, like the stock price could not, didn't even need to move and I would earn back my money just in dividends alone in a few years. Given the trajectory that I see for oil and energy, I think this will be a very good risk to reward play. Uh, again, not investment advice, just what I like to do. And I'm a complete idiot, so don't take my advice, which I'm not giving, just to be fair, clear.